Hi, I'm Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use frames in Microsoft Expression Web 4 using frame set tag. Once again, I repeat the topic. How to use frames in Microsoft Expression Web 4 using frame set tag. And before that we should know what is the use of frame. What is a frame? A frame is used to divide an HTML page into more than one parts or frame. So what is a frame? A frame is used to divide an HTML page into more than one parts or frame. Okay, how to divide? You can use the frame set tag then either you can split it by rows or columns if you want to split it either you can use commas to split either row by, by row wise or by column wise and then you want to assign the frame name frame name and source you want to close the frame set tag once again i repeat you can use the frame set tag to divide your html page into frames either by row wise or column wise and then you can we want to assign the frames and then you want to close your frame set now i will teach you how to use the frame set in microsoft expression web 4 so you open microsoft expression web 4 just by clicking the icon and go to file new html page and i'm going to delete the body tag why you want to delete the body tag if you are using frame set there is no need you want to use body tag so I'm going to start with frame set then I'm going to divide by columns let us say 50 comma star 50 means the 50 percent and then followed by the remaining things will be converted into column number 2 so column 1 and this one is column 2 and now I'm going to assign two frames frame let us say name c1 column 1 c1 and second frame name c2 and close it now check it what's happened see now your html page has been divided into two frames okay so column 1 and column 2 okay fine if you want to increase no problem here you can able to increase let us say 120 see now automatically it has been increased for example for example i need one more okay let us say i will convert as 120 comma star and let us say i will copy it and paste it and rename it as c3 now three columns 1 2 3 and three frames c1 c2 c3 now see what happened see now you have created three columns okay fine in column 3 this one is column 1 column 2 column 3 in column 3 i want to divide it as two rows how it is possible yes it is possible okay so how okay so after this let us say frame set rows is equal to let us say 50 comma star now you want to assign the frame for two rows let us say frame name equal to r1 row 1 and frame name equal to r2 now check it okay what happened so it's coming in where it is coming it is coming in four okay what is the problem here this is the problem so you just tell it this why because third frame you are going to shuffle it now see say column 1 this column 1 and this is column 
in column three, you have divided the column three into two frames, row one and row two. Okay. So now we'll set an initial page. Set an initial page. You assign some page. Click OK. You can assign some page and click OK. You can assign some page. And click OK. Here you can assign some page and click OK. Okay, fine. So now you want to save it. Go to File. Either you can use Save or here is the option Save. So I'm going to create a new folder. Let us say Frames Example Frame Set. Open it and save it. You want to save all the page okay then later so here is a preview option and select any one of the browser to preview your code now you can able to see see now you have created frames so this is called as a custom customized frame or user defined we are the user we can able to create our own frame i think you may enjoy this video thanks for watching this video